Hey, Joey Star here for Star Quality Kitchen. Welcome back, friends. Today I'll be trying out all the new fiery buffalo flavor items from Burdekin. If you've been following this channel from the beginning, then you may remember the review I posted last year of Burger King's Ghost Pepper Nuggets. I'll put a link to that in the description box below for you to check out for yourself, but the short of it is that it was the heat ghosting me like a bad tender date. But I do believe in second chances, so this will serve as an opportunity for Burger King to redeem themselves. So I looked at Burger King's menu and I decided to grab everything that I could find related to this fiery buffalo flavor so I may give you the most complete review possible. Here they are. We got the buffalo chicken nuggets, which is what I originally saw advertised. And according to Burger King, these are their chicken nuggets covered with a fiery buffalo glaze. They also happen to have a fiery buffalo chicken wrap and as an option Option for a dipping sauce, they happen to have the same buffalo sauce as a dip that you can buy separately. I suppose the only real difference between these nuggets and getting regular nuggets and with one of these is that it's already on here, so hopefully whatever that sauce is encompasses a whole nugget as opposed to whatever you get from dipping it in. And as part of a combo for the chicken nuggets, I also grabbed the french fries and onion rings, as Burger King calls them, half seeds. And because that came with two dipping sauces, I also picked up Burger King's zesty sauce because Honestly, I really try to like their ranch dressing, which would go better with buffalo. It just never seems to work. No matter how many chances I give it, it's just very, very bleh. All right, so quick comment before I actually get into our taste test here is that when I was ordering this stuff, I thought to myself, man, I'm going to get a combo meal and I'm going to get a wrap. I hope I'm not ordering too much because it's only lunchtime and I actually did eat once yet today. But as you can see here... <laughs> Even though I ordered more than a meal, it doesn't look like more than a meal, does it? This chicken wrap is so small. It basically looks like a sloppy egg roll, if you ask me. So let's start with just the sauce by itself, all right? We get the buffalo sauce here. Gonna just peel it open. I like the coloring here. Look at that. It's kind of like this reddish orange. It almost looks like a spicy mayo. Let's get a whiff. It kind of smells like a spicy mayo. It's not a bad smell, a little bit sweet. It doesn't smell very fiery, but that doesn't mean it doesn't taste very fiery. So we're going to see. The consistency is a little looser than the mayo. Let me just get a little taste test of this right here, a little bit on my finger. Okay, so, oh, all right. So just that dab test, flavor wasn't bad. I was presented with a touch of heat afterward. Like it was like more of an aftertaste, but it was such, just a dab. So I couldn't even really tell you if it was really spicy or not. Let's get a really good dab here. There you go, full finger. The flavor's not bad. And once again, the heat, when you first taste it, you think there's no heat and then it shows up. It's not a bad flavor. It's not fantastic, but it's not bad. I want to give this dip a fair chance. So I'm going to go ahead and dip a French fry in there. Okay, that's not bad. You know what? That actually does taste like a proper buffalo chicken sauce. And there is a bit of heat coming off here. Let me get a little bit more. So flavor's not bad. And a little bit of a kick. Unlike the ghost pepper nuggets that I posted last year, this does have a bit of a kick to it. Let's try it with an onion ring. What the hell? All right. Let's see what you got here. I like it a little bit better with the onion ring than I do with the french fry. So let's talk a bit about this flavor before going on here. Heat always comes a second later. It's tangy, kind of smooth, I guess. The only way I can describe it is if you ever had real buffalo chicken sauce made the proper way, and maybe if you added just a touch of something sweet to it, it does kind of taste like that. So I'm not going to pick on Burger King too hard for the sauce because it's actually pretty decent tasting. In fact, I'll take this over their ranch dressing for certain. Now, if I want to give this a real fair test, I'm going to have to try it without dipping it first. So here it is here. It's got a little bit of a, you know, reddish tint to it. Still already improved over my ghost pepper nuggets. It's not as warm as they intended, but I'm sure uh, it'll be fine. Okay, so the description on this, it says covered with that fiery buffalo glaze. Whatever the glaze is that they put on here, I don't think it's really a glaze because there's nothing moist about this. It's almost like they used a slightly spicy rub to make the nuggets. It's not bad. It does have a little bit of heat. I would even say just at least with this bite, a touch more heat than the dipping sauce, but that might be because it's drier too. I'm not sure. The nugget itself actually was pretty tasty. I feel like when I have Burger King nuggets that they're kind of hit or miss. You know, you catch them on the right part of the day, 
the right restaurant. But these taste pretty good. Pretty good taste. A little bit of a kick. I would say more kick than this dipping sauce. Nothing to send you screaming for your beverage. I mean, my beverage is sitting right here. I haven't even thought about it until just now. And it's not because of the heat. A little bit of an afterburn. I do appreciate that. So let's try this nugget with the supposed fiery buffalo glaze and dip that into the buffalo sauce. Okay, so from a flavor perspective, the nugget, which was already pretty good, it's a lot better. It's a little bit hotter, it's a little bit tastier, it's actually kind of enjoyable to chew it. And I gotta admit, right now, I do feel a little bit of a heat building up in here, but I'm not sure yet that it's earned the monkeyer of fiery buffalo. Right now, it just feels like buffalo. Since I'm on the nuggets, let's try it with the zesty sauce. Let's see how it tastes in a different context here. A little bit of a orange hue, if you will. Not much of an aroma. Kind of smells like horseradish. Okay, that doesn't leave me a lot of hope because I'm really not a fan of horseradish. Let me just see what this tastes like by itself before we take any other steps here. Okay. So, the zesty sauce is actually horseradish. It's not bad as far as horseradish goes. I'm not a fan of horseradish. It's not something I would seek out. If I knew this was horseradish, I wouldn't even bother. But considering that I don't like horseradish, it's not a bad sauce. I wouldn't write this off yet. I'm gonna try another onion ring with this. I just wanna see how this does in different scenarios. Again, if someone who doesn't like horseradish, it's not bad. Because let's go ahead and take this quote unquote fiery buffalo chicken flavored nugget, dip that in this zesty horseradish sauce. Honestly, the little bit of heat that this nugget had kind of got doused with the zesty sauce. So if you want to feel the heat, stay away from the zesty. Now I'll go ahead and take a sip of this, just to clear the palate. So far, I'm liking the buffalo dipping sauce better than the zesty sauce, which might be a little unfair considering that horseradish isn't part of my palate. So let's take a look at this really tiny, if I had ordered this by itself for the review, I would have been really annoyed because this is like, what is this, like two bites, three bites? Let's take a look here. So here's the front. So since this already has sauce and I guess it's ready to go, let's give that a bite. Let me start by saying that the tortilla they use is great. Excellent tortilla, smooth, moist, a little bit of a chew to it, breaks apart just easy enough. Definitely better than I expect from any fast food restaurant, let alone Burger King. So kudos on the actual wrap part of it. The bite that I took had chicken, sauce, and lettuce. And the lettuce, honestly, is kind of soggy and not that great. They should have thrown this lettuce out and started with a fresh batch. Chicken itself, better than the nugget. Moist, flavorful, pretty good. If you ever had Burger King's chicken, particularly other chicken sandwiches, that's kind of like this tastes like. I, for one, happen to like Burger King's chicken sandwiches. It's not very often that I eat there, but when I do, if I have the chicken sandwich, I tend to enjoy it. I want to get another bite here because I completely missed the tomato. I want to see what it's like all together. Okay, so tomato actually makes a pretty good difference. Adds a little dimension to their flavor, slightly sweet, a little moist, a little bit of the acidic attribute of the tomato to cut through on the greasiness of the chicken tender. It's a nice compliment. If I had a little bit of that lettuce in that bite too, having that tomato there made it a little better. Heat factor, about the same as these chicken nuggets were prior to dipping. Speaking of which, let's try it dipped. Dipping the old yellow sauce there. And I'm gonna put a healthy amount. See right there? Okay, let's see what that tastes like. That was the best bite that I've taken with this dipping sauce. It's a nice pairing with the tomato and the chicken tender and the tortilla. Definitely like the chicken wrap dipped in here better than anything else I've had so far. Just to be a completist, let's go ahead and try some of this with the zesty sauce here. Can't believe I'm willingly <laughs> dipping a chicken wrap in horseradish. It's a brand new world, people. Again, someone who doesn't like horseradish, that wasn't bad. In this particular case, I feel like the horseradish actually helped enhance the fiery buffalo glaze that's in this wrap. I feel like the, the buffalo dipping sauce, the quote unquote glaze that's on these nuggets, and the actual buffalo glaze that's in this wrap are three completely different recipes. I'm not kidding. Those of you that are heat enthusiasts like I am, your best bet with this is this chicken wrap dipped in the buffalo dipping sauce. It's pretty much the only bite I've had where I can actually 
actually feel some legitimate heat. And again, it's still not crazy, but there is a burn going on here. And considering Burger King's track record last few years with me, this is actually an improvement. I appreciate it. I feel like to some degree, Burger King has redeemed themselves. Not fully redeemed because the ghost pepper nuggets were a pretty big disappointment, particularly in the heat department. But this was well enough that the next time they come up with something that they're claiming to be hot, I'll have more of an open mind in trying it because of how much better this was. So there you go. Burger King's new fiery buffalo. I'm not even sure which one of these is supposed to be the real fiery buffalo. They all taste different, but none of it tastes bad. If you're a heat enthusiast, you're going to be left a little short as usual from Burger King. If you're into trying new things, you're interested in the flavor. There's some good stuff here. Nuggets by themselves. Okay. Dipping sauce by itself. A little bit better. Chicken wrap by itself. Decent. Chicken wrap dip in the buffalo sauce. Best combination in this video. What do you guys think? Have you tried the new fiery buffalo flavor at Burger King? If so, what did you think? Did it burn you? Did it taste good? Let me know in the comments below. Have you tried the Burger King ghost pepper nuggets when they were out? What did you think of those? And if you tried both, what did you think of one versus the other? You have my opinion. I'd like to know your opinion. So drop a comment down below. Thank you so much for watching Star Quality Kitchen. Be sure to like, share, subscribe, and stalk. Laters definitely hands down the rap was the best part of this. <laughs>